let's just see if we can make these ones. You're not going to see very much until I get there, but we've got two trains on the way, one from each direction. And by the time I get up there, we should at least have one in arm's reach. The barriers are now down. And it is Saturday the 30th of October 2021 at 1520 Sickus. Sorry. The first train's already passed Doddington Road. This will be the delayed 1512 East Midlands Railway service from Newark Northgate to Lincoln Central. And the 1527 London Northeastern Railway service from Lincoln Central to London King's Cross. At the end of the day, it's anything for an extra video, isn't it? Whilst I'm busy working. That was easy. About 866 were more flats than wheels. So he was, did he make an additional stop because he's 15 minutes late now? If so, why? He wasn't booked to make an additional call, but he did call at Highcombe because I passed here on a bus about now three minutes ago and these were still up. But I do know there is still a signalling problem issue at Swinderby. That occurred about 10am. Andrew 202. It is now 15.31. This will be the 15.30 from Immingham to Ratcliffe. We have one of the slow and long ones, but not the slowest or longest because that one's not here for another half an hour.
So of course this one's a fair bit away, not yet past Booton Junction. With our previous train occupying the berth at Thorpe Pond, then he's going to have to really slow through Swinderby. Because I think the issue was and is still affecting both lines, even though it's one specific signal on one line only. I'll we'll swift this, I'll see if there's anything latest in the system. So yeah, the spare part they need for work isn't available. So they're having to resource off of Grantham. In order to fix the problem. So it's just simply a fuse with the semaphore. That's basically it with the looks of it. We're specifically blocking Eagle Barnsdale once again. So it's Swinderby signal 104. Where's that mapped as? Oh, the one at Thorpe on the Hill, of course it is. So that's been causing problems all day. So from log, I've just lost it. Hang on, what's this? Oh dear, signal passed at danger at Chalk Lane in Hull. That doesn't surprise me, the signal's probably vandalised. Uh, back to what I was gawping at, here we are. So incident was declared at 10.45. And it's been ongoing ever since. So near enough five hours, as usual. This cold train sure taking its time though. In half an hour, it's the petroleum one, which will take even longer. There's one thing that this team will never be able to do, and that's predict an arrival time of a freight train. Especially if it's coming from a standing start. It could be two minutes, it could be seven minutes. Is he here yet? Where's the passenger train? Right, passenger train's at Lincoln Central. This is going to be stopped at Doddington Road, so that's why he's taking so long, because the Thorpe and the Hill signal still blocked with a previous train due to the signaling problem. 66787. For that was five and a half minutes plus. to work off what I can visualise happening. It's no 15.40. It's with the delayed 15.25 East Midlands Railway service from Leicester to Grimsby Town and the 15.36 
East Midlands Railway service from Grimsby Town to Leicester. The first train is reporting earlier slippery rail conditions. He's currently caught in the signaling problem. Like, even though he's only just at the signaling centre now, they're probably going to keep us down for him. Because that's maybe four to five minutes away to push when going line speed or close to it. What's going to happen is 2L7 is going to be waiting at Doddington Road again because the coal train's now in just a thorpe that we saw about five ten minutes ago due to that continued signal problem. It certainly stay for both. One seventy five three one belly aching about low emissions. Blame it if you'd like, mate. We are like 20 minutes late. Well, 19, but yeah, who's counting? This we're making a stop at Doddington Road. 17530. For Leicester via Nottingham. 